Hey, this is Dennis and Michelle from Take a Trip Together. We apologize for it being so long since our last video, but we do hope that you've had a very Merry Christmas and a great start to the new year. As you can see, it snowed since our last video, so it has been just a little bit. But uh, if you haven't seen our last video, make sure you check that out because there was lots of really cool stuff in it. Oh, yeah. We went to the Tunnel of Trees by Petoskey, Michigan. Mm -hmm. And we went to Wilderness State Park, which I don't think we'd ever been to before. So it was surprisingly awesome. And we also saw an amazing storm that you have to make sure you check out. Yeah. In this video, we hike Petoskey State Park and try not to get lost. Oh, and we go and see some mushroom houses. Those yeah, it was awesome. yeah. another surprisingly fun thing to do. Yeah, who knew? I, didn't, I never knew these. It's like driving through... Hobbiton. Hobbiton. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> think of the name. I want to apologize for it being so long in between videos here. I got kind of wrapped up with my photography business and getting ready for Black Friday and getting my website set up for selling pictures, selling prints. And so that just took up a lot more time than it really needed to. But it did, so... Now we're here, we're back, and we're looking forward to 2021. It's going to be a great year. We're going to travel all over and, and do lots of fun things. Yeah, and at some point this year, we actually get to pick up our trailer. Yeah, yeah, that's the, <laughs> it's a ways away yet, but yeah. So, looking forward to that. Imagine that. It's pretty. Yeah, it's beautiful. Very. So, hello, good morning. Day two of our Petoskey, Northern Michigan area trip. A little tired this morning. We're back at <laughs> we're back at Petoskey State Park again for the second time today because I was a little forgetful this morning and uh, starting to cloud up a little bit, but we still have time for a hike. Yeah, this is pretty. It is this very is pretty. Portage Trail. Portage Trail, yeah, we're doing the easy one right now. There's also a old Portage wow. Trail or something which is harder. And Mount Baldy Trail. Yeah. So some of the trail markers are a little hard to find. We just had an area where we had to walk not far, but along the road a little bit. Let's look for those squares. Gotta look for those trail markers. Nice peaceful engine sound. Yeah. There's maintenance going on in one of the campgrounds. And today we're going to talk about some tips that you should keep in mind for fall hiking. Yeah. What's the first tip? The first tip is to make sure you check the weather before you go. Yeah, so I, there's, a, there's a website or, that I go to or an app that I use. Um, it's called IntelliCast.com. Um, I have a really pretty detailed hourly forecast and it's fairly accurate the day of the day. so I mean it's, not the day before no well <laughs> it can be but like with any weather forecast it's bound to change especially here in Michigan so yeah it's fairly detailed fairly detailed hourly forecast and it gives you the temps and uh, chances of precipitation so yeah that's that's what I use anyway, and and it's supposed to rain today, around starting a really good chance of it around two o'clock, and we got here started hiking what around ten, I something think. like that. Yeah, so, should have plenty of time. Oh, 
did you want me to say the tip? Oh, sure. No, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so another fall tip is dress in layers because when we first attempted to start this trail, it was 40 degrees and now it's almost 60. So you need yeah. to be able to unzip and take stuff off. Right. You know, start out with the start out heavy. <laughs> yeah. End up light. Yep. And again, it kind of goes back to tip one. Or the first tip that we shared about checking the weather, knowing what that temperature change is going to be so that you can dress appropriately. So some hikers were saying that this trail is not marked very well. And I think what the confusion is, is there's a yellow square, square and what looked like a yellow triangle back on the sign, but now is a diamond. Yeah. So these lower things are arrows. They don't have anything to do with which way to go or which, which trail path you're, you're following. <laughs> They're just saying go that way. Yeah. So, but when we just saw a sign that just had one of these arrows, kind of looked like the opposite trail of what we were trying to follow, but it wasn't, it's just an arrow. Yeah, we're, we're, we're trying to follow the yellow squares. So anyway, hopefully that will help to clear up some confusion. Yep. Okay. So do you have another tip? I do. Um, before you come out, if you're really wanting to see the fall color, uh, we would suggest checking out some different fall color guides. Yeah, you can Google fall color guide in Michigan or fall color forecast in Michigan or whatever state you're in um, and that'll they'll they'll kind of give you some decent direction although they tend to I wouldn't take them at a hundred percent accuracy uh, you know when I did I did some searching before today and found like three different guides and they all kind of conflicted a little bit so you just kind of have to watch um, local uh, forecasts from day to day. So if you're coming up to Petoskey, watch a local Petoskey area station for um, some color guides. Yeah, or check out Instagram, see what recent pictures yeah. people are posting. But right. you do have to ask them, is that from this year? Because a lot of photographers <laughs> will pull pictures out that oh, yeah. are from previous years that are beautiful. Yeah, they But just it try won't to... give you a good idea of what the colors are currently no, like. They're trying so to you get gotta a, ask. You're trying, they're trying to get a jump on yeah. their their likes for the season, I guess. <laughs> so pretty in here, even with a, all the evergreens, and then you get like a, a tree that's all red or all yellow mixed in with it. It's really pretty. Right, it is. Another tip when you're hiking in autumn is to realize that the weather is gonna, it's gonna get darker earlier, it's gonna get cool earlier. So make sure you start out plenty early. Yeah, you can uh, check trail guides. Like I use um, the All Trails app and it's got some pretty good reviews, tells how long it takes to do one particular trail and uh, how hard or how easy the trail is. So check out, ooh, you okay? <laughs> yes, and don't twist your ankle. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. The other thing is you may want to make a checklist of what you're wanting to bring with you when you're thinking clearly, maybe the day before <laughs> or something, because otherwise you may get started, turn around, go back to your hotel room, grab what you forgot, <laughs> and then turn around and come back. That tip was aimed at me, by the way. <laughs> And I still forgot my tripod. I'm out here walking around in low light, trying to take camera, trying to take pictures in very low light. So, <laughs> yeah, well, it's been one of those mornings. Okay, one thing to add about the trail maps is don't rely on cell service in these, on these trails in order to see them. Um, you probably won't have cell service on, on most of these trails, at least we don't. Right. So download them ahead of time on your phone so that you have them. For that whole 
I would download maps for that whole area where you're going to be exploring because we even don't have cell service in a lot of places where we're driving. Right. If right. we get away from the highway in Upper Michigan, there's a lot of places without cell towers. Yep. Very frequent cell towers. In <laughs> so. Right. Okay, so do you have another tip? I do. <laughs> uh, another tip that's super important is to make sure you know when different hunting seasons are yeah. happening. And if you're in an area that allows hunting. Yes. So if you're going to be someplace, it's, it's okay to hike in those places. You just need to wear like hunter's orange, um, some bright color that will stand out and not look like an animal. And I would also avoid dawn and dusk if you're in a hunting area yes. because even if you're wearing a bright color, it may not be very bright when it's kind of dim. So yeah. that's when hunters are doing most of their hunting is dawn right. and dusk. Yeah, yep, exactly. And where we're at right now, there's no hunting allowed that I could find. So we obviously aren't dressed in <laughs> bright colors, but yeah. Um, I don't, I, yeah, we didn't see anything that, um, allowed hunting here so yep. and we looked yeah we did so I have to take my another tip for fall hiking is appropriate footwear right you have to realize that uh, quite often it is oh, there's wet and slippery leaves on the ground right um, it's very dewy at night. It's also quite often it rains at night or it, even well, just a little sprinkle. In the fall, yeah, we get a lot more rain in the fall. Than, yeah. So. Yep, so you don't want to wear flip flops or sandals or even tennis shoes that don't have a good grip on the bottom because you you would yeah. be more likely to slip. Yeah, you just have to be a little more careful and wear appropriate footwear. Yeah. I'm on my way. So, do you have another tip? I do, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> it's important to stay hydrated. It is, very much so. Even though it's not super sunny, it's not really hot, you're not out in the sand, uh, it is very important to have some water with you. Yeah. And just so you know, we don't always take our own advice because we didn't bring any water with us and I'm very thirsty. Me too. But we're almost done, so we'll, we'll, we'll make a bag. Don't worry. <laughs> Do we have one last tip? Yeah, and you're going to tell it. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> Imagine that. Okay, Start yes. Over. <laughs> well, we'll see. All right. So one last step is to, you kind of have to roll with the punches. Number one, don't trust the weather forecast. <laughs> Not yes. 100% anyway. Okay, so the thing that I would say about this is if the weather forecast shows that the weather's not gonna, it's not gonna rain until maybe two o'clock, don't be surprised if it starts at noon. Okay, that's, that's really kind of what I'm saying here. It's, it, it's not 100% accurate ever. So what did you think about this hike? It was nice. The first half of it was really nice. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of dumped us out onto a road to walk back to the car for half a mile or so, but, or maybe a little longer. Or maybe a sure. mile. <laughs> yeah. But it was a good hike. I mean, it's a beautiful day. It is. Um, one of the things that surprised me is we actually have cell service in this park. Yep. That's, that's hardly ever true for us. But we're we very close to Petoskey. Oh yeah. We're, so that's it's, probably why. And it's, this park is right on the bay, which is wide open. There's plenty, there's all kinds of city, or not city, but town around it. Yep. So, yeah. But it was a good hike. I'm, I'm feeling worked. Yep. <laughs>
We said goodbye to Petoskey State Park around noon and shortly after it began raining. We did some research looking for something dry to do, but due to the pandemic many things were either closed or we just didn't feel comfortable doing them. We decided to do a driving tour of the surrounding area. In our research we found out about some cool looking houses in Charlevoix, which is just 17 miles away from Petoskey. These houses were designed by a man named Earl Young. He designed and built 31 houses in Charlevoix in the 1900s that are affectionately called mushroom houses. We found a website that offers driving tours of most of the houses for about $20 a person. You can ride around in what looks like a large covered golf cart while your driver gives you a history lesson on each house. We found another website that has maps so you can drive by the houses yourself in a self-guided tour. We opted for the cheaper self-guided tour. According to the self-guided tour website, the Charlevoix Mushroom Houses are all privately owned residences. Please respect the privacy of the owners. Do not walk on their property. Do not try to enter their homes. Do not knock on their doors. You are welcome to take pictures from the road or sidewalk. These houses are very quaint and charming and really do kind of remind me of Hobbiton. After our mushroom adventure, we took in some of the local fall colors while driving around the countryside. Michigan really outdid itself this year with spectacular colors. When you're on a road trip, don't be in too much of a hurry. Be sure to take time to see the road less traveled. Get off the beaten path and look at the beauty of the surrounding countryside. As Robert Frost famously said, two roads diverged in a wood and I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference. Mm -hmm.